the year 2000. We're live inside Minute Maid Park here in downtown Houston. It's game four of the American League Division Series between the New York Yankees and the and Houston now, Astros. Year 2027, Houston Astros. Jack Flaherty is the man on the mound for the fourth game of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? So now here is Gerald Hayden looking to put them ahead early with this at bat. Hayden. Don't be afraid. Now the first pitch. Hey, this is a left-handed hitter that can fly down the line. If they want to turn two, they're going to have to be almost perfect. Oh, and one count and the pitch. And great extension as he drives this one high in the air and deep the other way. Gone as it's into the Crawford boxes. A three-run shot down the line in left. His fourth long ball of this series as the Yankees move out to a three-to-nothing lead. Well, people always wonder why some players make so much money. And there's your answer. The great ones find a way to rise to the occasion. That... So here is... Gerald Hayden off to a fine start in this one after launching a homer his first time up. And now pitch on the way. Ball one, no fight. The 1 0 home. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Senzel backing up on it. He gets there and makes the play for the first down. That was a tough play, so let's take it. Stepping in next, Gerald Hayden comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. First pitch on the way. Oh, and one count and the pitch. One and one. It's a 5 1 game here in inning number five. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. And another foul ball. The one two. To two Grand balls and two, two strikes two. now. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there. Really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Too much dip on the sinker. Laid off for a ball. There's the heavy sinker right there. What makes that pitch so difficult to hit is not only does it change eye levels, it actually changes plane. You go to hit it at one position, and it's six to eight inches dropping off the table and chasing your hands. Benintendi is in his... Up next, Ryan McBroom. He's over one thus far. Ryan McBroom. Now here's the pitch. Rip down the line. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Hey, that's a heck of an effort by the third baseman right there, selling out to try and save extra bases for the pitcher, but it got through. Next for New York, Gerald Hayden. He flew out in his last debut. Oh, 
almost, Matty. Almost went yeah. deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard, this AB. Taint is exactly what you want out of a bullpen arm. It's a rare occasion that anyone squares him up. He doesn't give up a lot of hits, and when he does, they're almost always kept in the yard. Matty V, there are two keys to being a good relief pitcher, and always remember these. One, limit the base on balls. Two, keep the ball in the ballpark. You can't defend a walk, and you can't defend a round tripper, and he does both. He got that one pretty good. It just didn't... So here's the cleanup hitter, Gerald Hayden. He's got one hit and four at-bats. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Hit hard on the ground to short. Field cleanly. And he'll go to short play to retire the shot. They know their work is nowhere close to being finished, but they've handled their business so far, winning here to punch their ticket to the next round and a possible trip to the World Series. Well done. For the left-hander Dan Plezak, Mark DeRosa, and our entire crew, this is Matt Vaskirchen. This has been the American League Division Series.